Hey guys, um, back at it again with no more openings. The last couple have been Pokemon. This time I'm doing Magic the Gathering. Uh, this it is uh, Strixhaven School of Mages. And the reason why I'm doing this one is because there's a lot of really cool cards in this that are remakes of old ones. Some different arts for Lightning Bolts, some different arts for things like Harmonize, Lightning Helix, things like that. So that's why we're doing this one today. I'm trying to round out some of uh, the cards I'd like for decks I'm building, decks I've already built and want to you know, make fancy, things like that. So, let's get to it. And yes, it is still sealed into everything, so definitely uh, legit. And, uh, no, I'm not going to tell everyone where I get my stuff. That's that's for me to know. And you can Google all kinds of websites to find good stuff. You know, just be creative. That's all you got to do. Now, these are, in fact, the draft boosters. You now, the draft boosters give uh, more... I guess they're, they're a bit more predictable in the, in the array of cards you're going to get. Uh, set boosters, you have chance for varying numbers of rare, of commons, uncommons, rares, etc. These are more static. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open every single one of these packs and see what we get. Because, let's face it, I want some of those fancy lightning bolts. And I don't care that I'm opening them weird. <laughs> okay, so... Ooh, here we go. Uh, this is a neat one. Archway Commons. Uh, let's see if it'll focus. Um, really, why are you not wanting to focus unless you're that far away? That is so weird. Let me adjust this. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah, because look at that. Now you can actually see that. So it comes in taps. Sack it unless you pay one. Add one mana of any color. Reminds me of the old um, um, Gil, uh, Gateway Plazas. There we go. Uh, next is Teach by Example. Um, ooh, copy the next instant or sorcery spell you cast. That is fantastic. Uh, thrilling Discovery. Uh, gain two life. Then you may discard two. If you do, draw three. Very neat. Uh, spring main, spring main, uh, servant. Hopefully I said that right. Enters the battlefield, gain two life. Leech fanatic. Uh, as long as it's your turn, it has a life link. All very useful there. Pilgrim of the Ages. Enters the battlefield. And search your library for basic planes card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. Or for six, you can return it to your hand from the graveyard. That's actually kind of cool. Block with it, kill it, bring it back in the plane. So that's kind of neat. Pop quiz. Draw a card, then learn. Uh, learn is very useful, actually, because you can either take lesson, special lesson spells from outside the game, put it into your hand, or you can discard a card and draw another card. So eh, that, can, that can be useful, especially if you set up your deck to use this mechanic. Uh, sudden Breakthrough. Uh Target creature gets 2-0 in first strike till end of turn, and you get a treasure token. Very useful. And it's, it's only 2 mana, so that's very, very useful, actually. Especially since whenever you look at what treasure tokens do, because it sacrifices artifact, and we'll tap it and sacrifice it. Um, add 1 mana of any color. That is incredibly useful. Uh, Spine Karak. Nothing special to two four monster. See here, and here's one of those lessons: exile non land permanent. Its controller draws a card, and it's a lesson because it's a sorcery lesson. It is a five cost though, a little little, little pricey. Um, Shade wing uh, laureate. I think I said that right. Mm -hmm. um, flying. Whenever another creature you control a flying dies, put a one one counter on target creature you control. That's pretty good actually. Imagine having four of these out and one creature with flying dies. <laughs> that's that's a lot of counters. Uh, Symmetry Sage. Uh, whenever you cast or copy a s instant or sorcery spell, target creature you control has base power two until end of turn. Um, that could be useful because that could make this a uh, a two two for a one with flying. That's that's very useful. Uh, spell Satchel. Magecraft, uh, put a book counter on it whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery. Uh, remove a book counter to add a colorless or remove three to draw a card. Yeah, that one, that one costs three mana though. Kind of useful. You can definitely see. Oh, here we go. 
Uh, Wither Bloom Command. Target player mills three cards. Oh, you choose two for this. And it's uh, one green, one black. So that's actually really nice. Target player mills three cards, and you return a land card from your graveyard to your hand. Destroy target non-creature, non-land permanent with mana two or less. Target creature gets negative three, negative one till end of turn, or target opponent loses two life and you gain two life. That is incredibly useful. I like that card. I've got a deck I'm going to put that in. And next up is Growth Spiral. And this is this is the uh, Mystical Archives. This is one of the cards I was talking about. Draw a card, put a land from your hand onto the battlefield. And if I remember right, this, this secondary effect does get around the whole one land per turn rule. So this is really good in a mana ramp deck. And then we have one of these nice little cards, um, the um, the double face cards. Very useful because it mean because you can use it to represent one in your deck. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure if these are tournament legal or not, so please consult consult your local tournament before using them. But they are very useful because you can put like the one side, the other side, um, and because it's got the backing, it just looks like a normal magic card. It doesn't have the, the two sides, and you just pull it from your sideboard, put a, put it in a clear sleeve or something. And there you go. So, first pack, <coughs> pardon me, uh, first pack, not too shabby, if I do say so myself. All right. Come on, open up. There we go. No, this is going to be a token or something. Let's get that out of the way. Wow. What? Oh, whoa, I saw a shiny. Uh, ooh, nice, a fractal token. That's going to be useful. All right. Biomathematician. Enters the battlefield, create a... Fractal token, which is this guy over here. Uh, put and then put a one-one counter on each fractal you you control. <sighs> that's really good. Um, because there's other cards that create those fractals, so that's really good. Uh, Moldering Karak, Trample Life Link three three for four. That's nice. Uh, Campus Guide. Enters the battlefield. Search your library for a basic land card. Reveal it. And then shuffle and put that card on top. Hmm. Not bad. I can help you get land if you need it. Hmm. Especially if you have the ability to draw something after that. Arcane Subtraction. Negative 4, negative 0 to end of turn. And learn. That's really good for getting around a big guy. Because it's an instant. Oh, hey, you're going to attack me with this thing. Well, it's going to be nothing. I'm going to block, and it's going to die, and I'm going to keep my creature. So, very useful. Or just useful for lowering the amount of damage you take. So, good no matter what. Uh, Blood Age General. Attacking spirits get 1-0 until end of turn. That's useful. Professor of Zoomancy. Create a black and green pest, and whenever it dies, you gain a life. Not bad. Professor's Warning. Choose one. It's a it's one black cost, so this is going to actually be good. Actually, just looking at it, it is really good. Either target creature gets indestructible or target creature gets a 1-1 one, one counter. For one mana, that's that's incredible. Uh, Pillar Drop Rescuer. When it enters the battlefield, target... Return target... Okay. So that's good. Sorry. It, it, it took a bit to process that one, but hey, creature card, mana three or less, back to my hand. That's that's nice. And it's a spirit cleric, so it would go well with that other thing. So here's another lesson. Introduction to prophecy. Scry two, draw a card. Very useful. Reflective golem. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that only targets reflective golem, you may pay two. If you do, copy that spell. So that's actually really nice. Like, oh hey. Give something a 1-1 one, one counter. Now I'm going to pay another 2 mana and something else is going to get a 1-1 one, one counter. <clears throat> and it only works when it casts, so the copies, the copy thing doesn't work. Like, it doesn't work off copies. So Mage Hunter, whenever an opponent casts or copies an instant or sorcery spell, they lose 1 life. That's really nice enough. In a lot of ways, actually. Uh, overgrown Arch Defender, you tap it to gain one life, or you can sacrifice it for two mana and learn. Overall, nice little card. Ooh, this is a double-sided guy. Plarg, Dean of Chaos, or Augustus, Augusta, Dean of Order. So, the Dean of Chaos, discard a card, draw a card by tapping him. 
or for four and tap him, reveal cards on the top of your library to you reveal a non-legendary, non-land card with mana value three or less. You may cast that card without paying its mana costs. Put all revealed cards not cast in this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. Not bad. <clears throat> and then Dean of Order. Other tapped creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. And remember, kids, when you attack, when uh, creatures attack, they have to tap. And then other untapped creatures you control get plus zero, plus one. Whenever you attack, untap each creature you control, then tap any number of creatures you control. Oh. Oh, that's good. Because basically, you can give everything vigilance without giving them vigilance. That's really nice. But that is a double-sided, and that would work for this. And then, so we've got these two last two. So this is another one. This is a mythic. Increasing Vengeance. Copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. If this spell is cast from a graveyard, copy it twice instead. You may choose new targets for the copies. And it has flashbacks. So that's that's insane. That's that's really good, actually. That's going to go in one of my burn decks if that's legal. Unfor I'm trying to look to see if it's one of those foil etched. It's not, sadly, but it's still nice. And then... My shiny from earlier, uh, Furry Calm Snarl. Now, as it enters the battlefield, you may reveal a plain or a mountains card from your hand. If you don't, it enters tapped. That's and it's, and it's a shiny. Like, look at that. That is so pretty. I like that one. So so far, so good. Off to a, off to a fantastic start. Okay, so next pack. Nope, oh, this is a little dummy card, so it's got some draft archetypes on there. If anyone ever does this for a draft, though, be a little late for that. It's not really new. But it these are useful because if you do get these, um, they do give you um, ideas for you know what kind of decks you can make from this. Because you have Silver Quill, um, you know, Flyers and 1-1 Counters, you know, Elementals and... Instance and sorcery is life gain and sacrifice, spirits in the graveyard, lands and creatures. So, I mean, it gives you some ideas for decks to make, which is nice. And then there's our 1 1 pest token. So, uh, oh, uh, Augiar Battleseer. Haste, and you can tap it to scry one. Four, three, four for five. Actually, I kind of like that. I kind of like the whole, you know. Um, I'm sorry, I, I, I lost it. Oh, I like the, the, the haste, and I like the fact that you can just scry one whenever you want, basically. So that's always nice. Quandrix Campus. Enters tapped. You can tap four to scry one, or it taps for blue or green. Teach by example. I believe I found one of those earlier. Charge through. Gains trample to end of turn, and you get to draw a card. for All for one mana? Yes, please. I've got a deck that's going to go in. Hunt for specimens. Uh, learn and uh, get a pest. Okay. Defend the campus. Uh, creatures you control get 1-1, one, one, or destroy target creature with power 4 or greater. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, waterfall. Uh, aerialist. Uh, flying and ward. And for those of you who don't know Ward, whenever this creature becomes a s target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, counter it unless that player pays two. So, very useful. Sorry, I got distracted by a cat in my room. Uh, sudden Breakthrough. Uh, we, I saw one of those earlier. Very nice. Bayou Groff. Uh, is an additional cost to, to cast this spell. Either sack a creature or pay three. Hey, get rid of a pest. And then you're good. <laughs> Uh, introduction to Prophecy, I already saw one of those. Uh, we did not see one of these guys, I don't believe. Um, the Quandrix Apprentice. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a land card from among them, put that card onto your hand, rest in the bottom of random order. Or in any order, I'm sorry. That's really good, actually. 
because that can help keep keep your land up. Now, is it a may? No, it's a do it, so you have to do it. Okay, Ardent Dust Speaker. Whenever it attacks, put an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard on the bottom of your library. If you do, exile the top two cards from your library. You may pay those card, play those cards this turn. And that's pretty good, especially if you wait till your second main phase to start casting stuff. Symmetry Sage. When you cast or copy an instant sort. Oh, wait, no, we already saw one of those. Uh, Vanishing Verse. Exile target monocolored permanent. Very nice. Uh, Whether the storm. Oh, dang. That's nice. Because uh, when you cast a spell, copy it for each spell cast before this turn, and you gain three life. Imagine casting four spells. And then you cast this. That happens five times. You just gained 15 life. Really good card. So we're on a roll here. Now, I don't know the value of any of these cards off the top of my head. I have an app for that. Um, but no, I'm, I, I'm debating on if I'm going to go through all that today. Oh, yeah. And then there's the Inkling. It's a 2-1. It's uh, kind of weird looking in it. All right, so we have Spiteful Squad. Death Touch enters the battlefield with two 1-1 one, one counters on it. Whenever it dies, put its 1-1 one, one counters on target creature you control. Very nice. Silver Quill Campus. Still one to the other campus, just this one's white and black. Owl and Shield Mage. Uh, Ward, pay three life. Oh, wow. So if you want to... If, if your opponent wants to attack you and it's Ward, pay three life... Uh, the opponent has to pay three life for that spell to go through. Very nice, very nice. Uh, another defend the campus. Oh, here we go. Reject. Two mana. Target counter creature or planeswalker spell, unless its controller pays three. If that spell is countered, exile it. Instead of in, in, instead of putting it into the graveyard. That's That's awesome. I like that. Twin scroll shaman. It has double strike. Oh, that's actually really good. Pump it, and it's going to be unstoppable. Eh, squirrel. Gets a 2-2 as long as you control 8 or more lands, and it has reach. So I have 8 lands on the field, and it's a 4-4 with reach. And it's a squirrel. Very mean demon squirrels. Uh, Lash of Malice. Target creature gets plus 2, negative 2 till end of turn. Can be useful in many ways, actually, because if, it, if, it, if it's like a 4-1, it'll kill their 4-1. Eager first year. Whenever you cast or copy an instant spell, it gets 1 0 till end of turn. Very nice. Ooh, here's another lesson Environmental Sciences. Plus, it's a 2 cost. Search for basic land, reveal it, throw it in your hand, shuffle, and then gain 2 life. I like that. I, I, I do like that one. Uh, decisive Denial. Sir, uh, choose one target creature you control fights target creature you don't, or target non counter target non creature spell unless controller pays three. So that's giving you a cheap counter spell that's going to mess them up, or it's going to take one of their creatures off the field if you play this right. So that's very nice. Uh, Dina Soul Steeper. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. Sack another creature. This gets uh, X, X out till end of turn, where X is the sacrifice creature's power. Oh, man. Give her trample. Bad things are going to happen to your opponent. Uh, divide by zero. Return target spell or permanent with mana value one or greater to its owner's hand. And then learn. Very nice. I like that. I like that one, though. Divide by zero. Sounds like it'd be a joke card from, like, the old Unhinged series and stuff. Okay. Venerable War Singer. Trample Vigilance. Uh, deals combat damage. You return the creature card X or less, where X is the amount of damage uh, damage uh, dealt to that player. Okay. And then, ooh. Look at that negate. Very nice. All right. So let me rearrange this pile here it's getting a little crazy but so far i think i'm getting a lot of good a lot of decent cards here come on all right 
Uh, so, I think I am going to uh, make up my mind. Once I'm done with um, opening all these, because I still have a lot to go, I think I'm going to... I don't know. Do I want to scan them or don't I? I don't know. Let's let's keep making up my mind. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just leave that a mystery. And then if anyone wants to know what I got later, like I'll go ahead and I'll do that off camera and I'll and I'll take and I'll take the current, you know, pricing and then uh, maybe I'll I'll throw it up in, in another video. All right. So, this is literally just a welcome card. Nothing really fancy about it at all. It does talk about MTG Arena. I mean, which is kind of nice because you can play. It's free to play. You can put money into it if you want, but it's a good way to get into magic and kind of learn without actually devoting the money. So that's a little way to check it out. And it's not even a paid advertising. It was just in my pack. Toss that aside because it's useless to me. All right. Lore Hold Pledge Mage. First strike and uh, gets pumped whenever you cast and copy spells. Very good. Uh, Biblioplex Assistant. Um, enters flying, enters the battlefield, one target instant or sorcery from your graveyard on top of your library. It is high cost, but I can see where it would, could be useful. Infuse vita with vitality. Uh, target creature gains death touch, and when this creature dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control, and you gain, you gain two life. Really good for uh, just trying to suicide with something. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to attack with this thing. Well, I'm going to block it. Well, I'm going to give it Death Touch and I get my creature back. Very good. Very good card for strategies. Mm -hmm. Or, if you know, oh hey, I'm going to give my creature Death Touch. And I'm going to kill the creature you stole from me and I'm going to get my creature back. Yeah. Because you could... Oh wait, no. That wouldn't work. Well, maybe. Because if you already have something with Death Touch, you give your own guy Death Touch. Yeah, they both die, but you get your big creature back. Because it's under its owner's control. So if I own my creature that you stole from me, I get it back. So, Novus Dissector. Sack another creature, put a 1-1 one -one counter. Activate only as a sorcery. Good way to get rid of all those pests. Because, remember, this pest, you get one life. Beaming Defiance. Hexproof and 2-2 two -two till end of turn. Not bad. Vortex Runner. As long as you control eight or more lands, it gets plus one, plus oh, and can't be blocked. Very nice. Tangle Trap. Deals five damage to target creature with flying or destroy target, ar destroy target artifact. Very useful. And it's kind of a dragon killer because a lot of dragons are five fives or four fours. So it's really good. Or because it's an instant, you can just deal that you know final killing blow to a dragon. I don't know if this set has any dragons, but in, like, in a modern deck... That's a really good anti-dragon card. At least in my eyes. Uh, Pigment Storm. Five damage to target creature. Excess damage is dealt to the creature's control. <laughs> so if it's a 1-1, one, one, they take your your opponent's taking five damage. That That's unique. It's a bit high cost for my taste, but it is what it is. I could see that being useful in like a commander deck, though. Uh, expanded Anatomy. Two 1-1 one, one counters on target creature, and it gains Vigilance till end of turn. Not bad. All right, Dueling Coach. Put 1-1 one, one counter on target creature whenever it enters the battlefield, and for 5 mana and tap it, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. That's that's gnarly. Uh, Storm Kiln Artist. Gets 1-0 one, one, one for each artifact you control. Oh, and create a treasure token every time you cast or copy an instant or sorcery. That, that, that's wrong. <laughs> I love it. Closing statement. Two cost, two less to cost during your end step. Destroy target creature or planeswalker you don't control. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on up to one target creature you do control. That is fantastic. I love that one. Uh, Draconic Intervention. As an additional cost to cast a spell, exile instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. Uh, deals X damage to each non-dragon creature where X is the exiled card's mana value. If a creature was dealt damage, dealt damage this way, it would die, exile it instead. 
Maybe there is, maybe there are dragons in this set, and I just haven't come across one yet. <laughs> uh, and then we have uh, Duress. Uh, one black. I mean, this is an old card. Everyone should know what it is. But I like the art on this. I really do. And then, oh, look at that. Expanded anatomy, but foil. <laughs> I do I do so enjoy my, my foil cards. I really do. All right. Oh, come on. So, yeah, I'm getting, getting a lot of cards I'm enjoying here. A lot of ideas for decks and, and everything. So, our... Oh, look, another Inkling. How about that? I haven't gotten anything that makes Inklings yet, so why am I getting all these Inkling tokens? All right. Prismari Pledge Mage. Magecraft Defender. Oh, nice. Uh, I can attack as though it didn't have Defender. Rise of Extus. Exile target creature. Exile one uh, target instant or sorcery card from a graveyard and learn. Very powerful in my eyes. A little high cost, but that's okay. Letter of Acceptance. Uh, one mana of any color, or sack it to draw a card. Two mana to sack, though. It's a little little much, and I think I need to adjust this again. Did it work? No, I think that made it worse. I am so sorry about this. I sh really should have tested this earlier. Let me just take... There we go. Now I can do a proper adjustment. There. That was a little privacy thing I put on. Yeah, that's so much better. Okay, Star People enters with a 1-1 one, one counter. When it dies, its 1-1 one, one counter goes elsewhere. Not bad. Serpentine Curve creates a fractal, and it gets X counters, where X is 1 plus the total number of instant and sorcery cards you own in exile and your graveyard. That is a very strong fractal in the right kind of deck. Now, it doesn't count itself because it does not go to the graveyard until it's countered or it leaves the stack. And it doesn't leave the stack until it resolves. So, and I do believe that is correct. Feel free to look up the rules on your own to, to figure that out. So, I just realized like, I tilted the camera when I was adjusting everything. Like, uh, that's fine. Um, illustrious Historian, uh, exile from your graveyard, or you get a tapped 3 2 red and white spirit. Leyline Invocation, uh, another fractal where X, and it gets X where X is the number of lands you control. Assuming each land taps for one, you have a taps for one mana, and you have no mana ramp, like no creatures or anything, that's a, a 6 6. Mm -hmm. Another Lash of Malice. Oh, here we go. Inkling Summoning. Uh, you get one Inkling. <laughs> oh, geez. Stonebinder's Familiar. Whenever one or more cards are put into exile during your turn, put a 1-1 counter on it. It only triggers once each turn. Okay. Uh, another one of the Soul Steepers. Master Symmetrist. Uh, whenever a creature you control with power equal to its toughness attacks, gains trample till end of turn. Nice. Because that means this would also, you know, gain trample. And then we have Augmenter or Echoing Equation. So, trample, and as long as you ha control eight or more lands, it gets 5-5, five, five, which makes it an 8-8 eight, eight for 3 with trample. That is just wrong. It should probably go in my green deck. I'm not gonna use the other side. Just, 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 just him. Uh, echoing equation. Choose target creature you control, and choose target creature. Each cre other creature you control becomes a copy of it until end of turn. Except those creatures aren't legendary if the chosen creature is legendary. Um. Imagine having two of these, having him out in the green-blue deck, and then using that on him, and all your creatures become this guy. <laughs> and they're all hate hates with Trample. That would be wrong. Um, shock. Nice art for Shock. I like that. I wouldn't mind a place out of those, just to say I have them. Uh, Needlethorn Drake. Flying Death Touch. 
I like him though. Look at look at the art. And he's yes, he's foil, but look at the art. I like that. I like that a lot actually. And my apologies, I need some water. Ugh. Man, I feel like I've barely gone through any of these packs. I still have so many more. All right. Oh, that's probably a token. Because it's got the secret layer thing. And then it is... It is a token. It's that 3-2 spirit. Wither Bloom Pledge Mage. Uh, cast or copy instant or sorcery, you gain a life. Blood Researcher. Actually, that's really good. I mean, yeah, it's high cost, but think about it. Um, if you have any kind of mana ramp in there with a green deck... Um... You could get that out pretty soon. Okay, Blood Researcher. Uh, when you gain life, it gets a 1-1 counter. That, this, com these two cards paired together, that's just horrible. Uh, a Wither Bloom Campus. Green and black. Professor Zoomancy, I believe we've already looked at him. Professor's Warning. We saw that one earlier as well. Pillar Drop Rescuer. Uh, Curate. Don't think we saw this one earlier. Look at the top two cards of your library. Put any number of them, uh, any of them into your graveyard, the rest back on top, and then draw a card. Okay. So, oh, hey, I don't like these cards. Just throw them away and then get them, and then, you know, draw a random card or, you know, or go from there. That, that's nice. Dragon's Approach. Three damage to each opponent. Exile. Dragon's Approach. And four cards named Dragon's Approach from your graveyard. If you do, search your library for a dragon creature card and put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. A deck can have any number of cards named Dragon's Approach. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is good. You'd need at least four five of them to be able to use the ability but that's okay uh, spirit summoning create create a spirit rip apart choose one three damage to creature or planeswalker or destroy artifact or enchantment very useful and low cost devouring tendrils target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker you don't control when the permanent you control die don't control dies this turn, you gain two life. Nice. Uh, team pennant Equip, uh, equipped creature gets one one and has vigilance and trample. Three to equip to a creature, but one to equip to a creature token. Oh, give that to a big fractal. That'd be so wrong. Ooh, magma opus. Deals four damage divided as you choose among any number of targets. Tap two target permanents. Create a four, four blue, red, and blue and red elemental creature token and draw two cards. Or you can discard it to create a treasure token. That is so good. I mean, yeah, it's definitely late game if it got that far, but dang, is that good. Uh, Divine Gambit. Uh, exile, target, artifact, creature, or enchantment an opponent controls. That player may put a permanent card from their hand onto the battlefield. Make sure they have no hand first and you're good. <laughs> Ooh, shiny, legendary creature. 2-3, flying. For zero mana, you may cast target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard this turn. If that spell doesn't target a creature you control, it costs eight more to cast this way. If that spell would be put into your graveyard, exile it instead. Activate only once each turn. You still pay the spell's cost, and timing and rules for the spell still apply. Wow. So basically you can use it to rebuff your stuff. 
That's that's nice. And it's a foil, so that's really cool. I like that card. I have to start putting some of those in my binders. Yeah, that's that's what I'll do, end up doing after this. All all the all these rares are going in a binder. <clears throat> all right, and we have the treasure token. Silver Pill Pledge Mage. And whenever you cast your copy, it gets flying or a lifelink. So you cast, and then you so you cast one. If you have a way to copy it, guess what? It gets both. Flying and lifelink. <laughs> or you just cast two cop two spells, whatever. Spectacle Mage. <clears throat> oh, very nice. Instant and sorcery spells you cast with mana value five or greater cost one less to cast. That's really good. I like that one. Cogwork Archivist. Uh, put target card from a, from a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library. So you can put your own sorceries and stuff on the bottom, and then if you have ways to shuffle, it just gets shuffled in. Uh, Thrilling Discovery. We saw that one before. Waterfall Aerialist. Uh, Ward 2. Flying. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, sudden ba Breakthrough. Again. Still a good card. <clears throat> uh, another Bayou Groff. Uh, Essence Infusion. Puts two one, one counters on target creature and it gives lifelink. Very nice. Another eager first year. Oh, but that, that um, um, the bird guy from the last pack. See, that's one of those ones where you could just, you know, use this on one of your guys and then, oh yeah, I'm just going to do that again. Uh, eager first year, cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell. Gains 1 0 till end of turn. We did see him before. Well, imagine pumping the eager first year. Just that right there. He's getting 2 0 in light, or 2 1 in lifelink. Uh, pass summoning. Uh, Quintorus, field historian. Spirits 1 0. One or more spirits. Oh, when one or more cards leaves your graveyard, you get a spirit token. I twitch. When it dies, you learn. Start from scratch. Deals one damage to, to any target. Destroy target artifact. Ooh, look at that. Multiple choice. Um, if X is one, draw a card. Or scry one, then draw. If X is two, choose a player. And they return a creature card they don't control to its owner's hand. If X is three, you get a you get a four four blue red elemental creature token. If X is four or more, do all of the above. That's really good. <laughs> and then, oh, I was hoping to get at least one of these. Cultivate. I need that for a green deck I'm making. Uh, search your library for two basic land cards. Reveal those cards. One goes onto the battlefield tapped. The other goes into your hand. Cultivate was always a very, very useful card. I'm sorry if it sounded... Sounds are distorted. I need a drink of water. <clears throat> oh, another one of those, you know, placeholders. I wonder why the back was just like a normal magic card. Uh, Relic Sloth. Vigilance Menace. Very nice. Lorehold Campus. Red or white. Moldering Karak, Trample Lifelink. Eureka Moment, draw two cards, land card from your hand onto the battlefield. I think I saw one of those earlier. Another Curate, another Dragon's Approach. Mage Duel, costs two less to cast if you've cast another instant or sorcery this turn. Target creature you control gets one, two until end of turn, then it fights target creature you don't control. Nice. Crushing Disappointment. Each player loses two life. You draw two cards. Hey, that's using your life as a resource. Oh yeah, I'll take two life to draw two cards. See what happens. Uh, Ageless Guardian. That's eh, a 1-4. Nothing great, but hey, with other cards, that can be something fantastic. And it's a spirit. It buys into the whole spirit gimmick. Introduction to Annihilation. Exile non-land cards. Controller uh, draws a card. 
Okay, practical research. Draw four cards and discard two unless you discard an instant or sorcery. Very nice. Detention Vortex. Enchanted permanent can't attack or block. Its activated abilities can't be activated. For three mana, destroy it. Only your opponents may activate this ability and only as a sorcery. Oh, that makes them choose things. That's great. Okay, Brackish Trudge enters the battlefield tapped. Uh, return it from your graveyard to your hand. Eh? Not terrible, I guess. Biblioplex uh, taps for a colorless, or look at the top card of your library. If it's instant or sorcery, reveal it, put it in your hand. If you don't put the card into your hand, you may put it into your graveyard. Activate only if you have exactly zero or seven cards in hand. Well, dang. And then opt. Very nice opt. Scry one, draw a card. Very nice opt. Oh man, this is gonna be a very long video. I'm at, I'm already at the 41 minutes. <laughs> but hey, I'm enjoying myself here, and I hope, I hope hopefully everyone else is too. And if anyone's actually seen all the set before me, uh, if you have any predictions for any cards I might get, you know. Let me know if you're right. It's like, oh, yeah, I thought you would get this. Or, oh, man, you didn't get this. This was a good card. Yeah, let me know. Uh, Spectacle Mage. We already saw that one before. Cogwork Archivist. Saw him. Another Battle Seer. Ooh, pop quiz. Draw a card and learn. Another sudden breakthrough. Spine Croc. Promising Dusk Mage. Uh, when it dies, if it had a 1-1 one -one counter on it, draw a card. Expel. Exile target tapped creature. Oh, nice. Another spirit summoning. Golden ratio. Draw a card for each different power among creatures you control. That is, is powerful. That's very powerful. Professor of Symbology. Enters the battlefield. Learn. Another eye twitch. Ooh. Shadric Silverquill. Flying Double Strike. It's an Elder Dragon. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may choose two. Each mode must target a different player. Target player creates an Inkling. Target player draws a card and loses one life. Target player puts a 1-1 one -one counter on each creature they control. Well, I'll tell you this right now. I'm getting the 1-1 one -one counter every time, and they're going to draw a card and lose a life. <laughs> and that's, that, that's what I would choose anyway, but that, that's nice. Uh, and then we've got ooh, Snakeskin Veil. 1-1 one, one counter on target creature you control, and it gains Hexproof. For one mana? That's nice. Uh, foil Fancy Strategic Planning. Look at the top three. Put one into your hand. Rest on, into your graveyard. And it's Foil. Look how pretty. But honestly, that's actually not a bad card like whatsoever. Because... Um, oh yeah, I'm just going to toss this into the graveyard, but oh hey, here's this card that I have that lets me get stuff back from our graveyard, so it's whatever. And there have been a few cards that do that. Whether it has flashback or, you know, oh yeah, you can return target card from your graveyard to your hand. So, I mean, that's, that's not a big deal. Just got a pile of, you know, discarded, you know, uh, pack pack wrappers <laughs> all right cram session for life and learn for two mana that's not terrible elemental masterpiece two red and blue elementals or you can discard it to create a treasure token exhilarating uh, elo elocution put two one one counters on target creature you control other creatures you control get one one till end of turn very nice Specter of the Fens. Um, that's that's really expensive to deal two damage to them and gain two life, but hey, whatever. That could actually help you out later on, though. Late game, oh yeah, I gain two life, you lose two life, and then I'm going to swing, and then that's game. So that can actually be useful, so I can see it. Exile card from your graveyard. Target creature gains flying until end of turn for four mana. That's that could be useful. Uh, Frost Trickster enters the battlefield. Tap target creature and opponent controls. It doesn't untap during 
its controller's next untap step. For three mana, that's not bad at all. Uh, fuming Effigy. Whenever one or more cards leaves your graveyard, Fuming Effigy deals one damage to each opponent. Uh, another one, another Spring Main guy. Another Leech Fanatic. Another Pest Summoning. Creative Outburst. Deals five damage to any target. Look at the top five cards of your library. Put one of them onto your, into your hand, and the rest on the bottom in any order. Or in a random order, I'm sorry. Or discard to create a treasure token. High cost, yes, but very useful. Um, I can also put that in my commander deck. Because I have a, I have a white, uh, red, blue commander deck. Mm. Wormhole Serpent can't be blocked this turn for four mana. Not bad. Hall Monitor. Target creature can't block this turn. <laughs> and then another one of these. Um, Shale, Dean of Radiance. Flying Vigilance. Tap, put a 1-1 one -one counter on each creature that entered the battlefield under, under your control this turn. Very nice. Or the Dean of Shadow. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on another target creature, then Ambrose, Dean of Shadow. Deals 2 damage to that creature. Whenever a creature you control with a 1-1 one -one counter dies, draw a card. See, I could see that working out to your advantage. Let's say they ha your, 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 one, your opponent has a... Um, a 1-1 one, one that you just want to get rid of. For whatever reason. Say he has Death Touch or something. Or you just want an open field so you can just swing out. Um, whenever a creature you control... Or, you know, so... Oh, yeah, they're 2-2 two, two now. But you just get tell 2 damage so he dies anyway. So that's useful. I like that. Alright, next up, Village Rights. Uh, sack a creature, draw two cards. Not terrible. And then, our Fractal. Yeah, and make, you know, just you know, sacrifice a pest. You gain a life, and you draw two cards. Everyone wins. Well, not your opponent, hopefully, but you win. Okay, and this one is... Ooh, that uh, red and blue elemental. We've heard so much about. Spiteful Squad. We've seen that before. Another teach by example. Thrilling discovery. Uh, yeah, we've seen this one. Essence infusion. Another eager first year. Uh, Burying books. Two less to cast for targets an attacking creature. Put target creature into its owner's library second from the top. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to attack me three mana? No, you're not. Though, in theory, it could work against you. Oh, hey, you're going to kill my really big thing? Now I'm going to put it back in my library. Uh, Tome Shredder. Haste. Uh, exile instant or sorcery card, and it gets a 1-1 counter. Not bad. Not bad. It would play into the, those other cards that, you know, whenever something leaves your graveyard, it does a thing. I can't remember what it was anymore. <laughs> Reckless Amplomancer. Um... Double is power and toughness still end of turn. Nice. Especially if you found ways to pump them up more. Mage Hunter's Onslaught. Destroy, destroy target creature or planeswalker. Whenever a creature blocks this turn, its controller loses one life. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Uh, environmental Sciences. We've seen that. Tend the Pests. Sack a creature. Create a X. Create X 1 1 black. And green pest tokens, or X is the sat creature's power. Oh man, <laughs> that that's insane. Oh, I wonder if there's something in this set that lets you take control of an opponent's creature. Because imagine that. Imagine they have this big creature. Let's say it's a seven-seven. You take it from them. You attack with it. They take the damage. And then, oh yeah, they're going to get back at the end of the turn, but no, I'm going to sacrifice it and then get a bunch of creatures in, uh, for my trouble. That That's just mean. Umbral Juke. Play, air sacrifices creature or planeswalker or get an inkling. Not bad. Honor Troll. Uh, vigilance. If you gain life, gain an additional one. Gains 2-1 as long as you have 25 or more life. Not 
not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, Fury Calm Snarl. Saw that one before. And then Tezzeret's Gambit. Uh, choose two car or draw two, then proliferate. Nice. Ooh. And because it can be paid with two life, it can go in any deck. Oh, yeah, proliferate. I'm going to draw two cards, and then like all my things with the 1-1 counter gets in another 1-1 counter. Why? Because I hate you. That's kind of perfect, actually. I love that. But yeah, I've seen those cards before, like because it's just like these uh green cards that'll make it into red beatdown decks where uh, um you can pay two life and it just pumps an an opponent's monster. It's it's crazy. Hey, look another fractal. Huh? All right, the battle seer. Another campus, another teach by example. Promising Dusk Mage. Have I seen you before? Oh yeah, if it does with the one one counter, you draw a card. Yep. Expel. I think that's two uh, two expels I've found so far. If I get a, if I get a place it, that's gonna go in my white in my white blue deck. Borog the Fuddler enters the battlefield. Target creature and opponent controls gets negative one, negative zero till end of turn. Very useful. Pillar drop warden. Sack it to return an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Only as a sorcery, though. Uh, charge through. I need a couple more of those. Another expanded anatomy. Lower hold excavation. At the beginning of your end step, mill a card. If a land card was milled this way, you gain one life. Otherwise, it deals one damage to each opponent. Uh, five. An exile a creature card from your graveyard. Uh, create a tapped. 3-2, red and white spirit creature token. I mean, you either gain life or deal damage, so I mean, whatever. Uh, necrotic fumes. Uh, exile a creature you control. Exile target creature or planeswalker. Eh, not terrible. Stonebinder's familiar. Uh, whenever more one or more cards are put into exile during your turn, put a 1-1 counter on them. I think we found that earlier. Ooh, Glyph Weaver. Uh, exile, selfless with either creatures you control gain indestructible. Very nice. Or death by vanity. Choose a creature or planeswalker, then destroy all other creatures and planeswalkers. Oh man. Um. Both sides of this card are really good. That that that's insane. Ooh, look at that it's a channel. Till end of turn, anytime you can activate a, a mana ability, you may pay one life. If you do, add a colorless mana. Um, dang. <laughs> that, that, talk about mana ramp. I mean, put that in a green deck, four, four lana war elves. Oh yeah, pay four life, get eight mana, and then all of a sudden, you're staring down one big honking thing. Um, and then Spectacle Mage, flying, instant sorcery spells you cast with mana... Oh, wait, we've already seen this one. This one's foil. Very nice, very nice. So, yeah, so far, fantastic cards. Loving this, loving this. And uh, it's time for another pile. Actually, I'm going to need more desk space, so I'm going to pull all these out as well. Just because I need the space on my desk. I'm going to need it for all these cards. So, shall we? Another double sided uh, place. Okay. Quarantix Campus. Lore Holds Pledge Mage. We've already seen both of those. Uh. Quandrix, oh, have I seen him? Oh, wait, no, yeah, he gets a 1-1 one, one counter. I think I have seen him before, but that's still really good. I honestly, I was like, I can make this an awesome, like, green-blue deck just from a lot of these cards. Uh, discard a card, then draw a card. With Soothsayer at it, not bad. Illustrious Historian. Uh, exile him from your graveyard, and you get a spirit token. Not terrible. A little expensive, though. Um... 
Field trip. Not bad. Basic forest, put it onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle, or, and then you can learn. Hunt for specimens. Bl uh, pest and learn. Star pupil. Pretty sure we've already seen him. Hey, look, fractal summoning. Um, lesson, which is useful. And then X, so you get X. Quandrix Apprentice. Oh, have I seen him? Yep, we did. Because he's the one that, whenever you cast or copy, um, you can choose a land card from the top three and put it in your hand, rest go on the bottom. Ardent Dust Speaker. Uh, yep, we've seen him. Mentor's Guidance. When you cast a spell, copy it if you control a Planeswalker, a Cleric, Druid, Shaman, Warlock, or Wizard. Scry one, draw a card. So hey, you, uh, you get you scry two, draw two, basically. Oh yeah, I like that card. Oh, scry one. Oh, I don't like it. Then draw a card. Then do it all over again. So nice. Manifestation Sage. When it enters the battlefield, create a one a, a, a fractal. Put X one one counters on it, where X is the number of cards in your hand. Not bad. Uh, Defiant Strike. Uh, target creature gets one out till end of turn, and you draw a card. For one, that for one white, that's that's good. I like that. Clever Luminancer. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, it gets two two till end of turn. Oh, mama, I like that, and it's foil. I I, I do kind of like the art though. Can you see that? Like, I like that artwork. Uh, who did that? Only Stedo. I, I cannot pronounce their name. I'm sorry, but that, that's still nice. Like I, I like that artist. They did a good job on that art. And I and that's actually something I like about Magic. They will find, like they'll make, get artwork from actual people, and like these people are very talented artists. They really are. Look, another inkling. Already got the pledge mage. Spectacle Mage. Oh man, I've got so. Wow, I ha I now have at least a full play set of Spectacle Mages in in this pile. Um, if all four of them were out, that means I could cast a five. Like if it was like four and a red, for example, it costs one red to cast X spell. That is that is insane to me. Another card work Cogwork Archivist, Thrilling Discovery, the Befuddler, a Warden. Yes, another charge through. I think I need one more. Arrogant Poet dies. Pay two life. If you do, it gains flying. Or no, attacks. I'm sorry. It gains flying till end of turn. Nice. Defend the campus. Confront the past. I don't think I've seen this one yet. Choose one. Return target planeswalker card with mana value X or less from your graveyard. Or remove twice X loyalty counters from target planeswalker and opponent controls. Nice. So I'm wondering, with all the Planeswalker stuff, are there Planeswalkers in this set? Because I've yet to come across one. All right, Tend the Pests. Umbral Juke. Aether Helix. Turn permanent to its owner's hand. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Nice. Strict, strict Proctor. Whenever a permanent entering the battlefield ba entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability to to trigger, counter that ability unless its controller pays two. And that's a bit of a double edged sword because that can hurt you as well. But if you don't use those a whole lot, that can really mess up your opponent. So, ooh, claim the firstborn. Gain control of target creature with mana value three or less until end of turn. Untap that creature, it gains haste. I've seen this before in other sets, but I like... Just look at the art. That's giving me some Rumple Stilt Skin vibes right there. Alright, next... Making an absolute mess over here. 
But that's the part of pack making. Oh, look, and another one of those little dummy cards. Over there it goes. Excavated wall. Uh, mill a card. Not your opponent, you. Owl and Shield Mage. We've already seen that. Letter of Acceptance. Ooh, Resculpt. Exile target artifact or creature. Its controller gets a elemental. I mean, early game, no. Because it's going to make them more powerful. However, if they have, say, an 8-8, now they have a 4-4. Much easier to deal with late game. Heated Debate. Cannot be countered. This includes by the ward ability. Heated Debate deals 4 damage to target creature or planeswalker. Not bad. And with a couple of the Spectacle Mages, um, that's a 1-drop. That's fantastic. Oh, wait, no, because it doesn't have a high, man high enough mana value. Never mind. Uh, big Play. Target creature gets 2-2 two -two and gains reach until end of turn and put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Nice. Novice Dissector. Uh, not bad. I think I've seen him before. And, and all this. Uh, Beaming Defiance. Vortex Runner. Introduction of Prophecy. Fortifying Draught. Gain two life. Target creature gains X, X till end of turn, where X is the amount of life you've gained this turn. I mean, so bare minimum, you know, He's gaining, you know, he's gaining two. If you got a life gain deck and you've gained a lot this turn, that is in insanely powerful. Especially with that storm card I saw earlier. Secret Rendezvous. You and target opponent each draw three. Quan oh, that's useful. Like, if you're trying to mill them out and you have, you force them to draw, they lose the game. Quandrix Cultivator. Enters the battlefield. Search your library for a forest or island. Put it onto the battlefield. Then shuffle. Oh, it doesn't go untapped. It just bam. Fantastic. Ooh, shadow. Shine shadow snarl. Reveal plains or swamp. If you don't, it enters tapped. Okay, so it's like that red one I got earlier. Abundant harvest. Choose land or non-land. Reveal the cards on top of your library till you reveal a card of the chosen kind. Put that card in your hand. Rest not go on the bottom in any order. Nice. Yeah, I'm getting some fantastic cards. I haven't found my Lightning Bolt yet. Or my Lightning Helix. But it's okay. Um, another Spirit. Alright. Witherbloom Campus. Blood Researcher. Witherbloom Pledge Mage. Pilgrim of the Ages. I don't think I've seen this one. Um... Oh, wait, no, yeah, that's the one that gives you planes. Never mind. Another pop quiz. Sudden breakthrough. I've got plenty of those now. Another spying for rock. Promising dusk mage. Academic probation. Choose a non-land card name. Opponents can't cast spells with the chosen name until your next turn. Or choose non target non-land permanent until your next turn. It can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. That's gonna go on my red and my blue white, cause my blue white is basically con it's blue white control, so that's gonna be fun. Go blank. Target player discards two cards and exile all cards from that player's graveyard. That's horrifying. All right, mascot interception. Three less to cast if it targets a creature token. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap it and it gets two O in haste until end of turn. That's really good. Oh, that would go well with that other card. Oh, yeah, uh, Resculpt. Oh, yeah, they're going to get 4-4 four, four Elemental, lose their creature. Oh, well, now for one, I take control of it. It gets bigger, and then I can sacrifice it for something. That, that That's nice. Okay. Fracture. Destroy target artifact, enchantment, or planeswalker. Very nice. Strixhaven Stadium. Add a colorless. Add a point counter. Whenever a creature deals da combat damage, you remove a point counter. Whenever you, uh, whenever a creature you control deals damage to an opponent, put a point counter. Wait, hold on, hold on. So tap it, you get a counter. 
Whenever a creature deals combat damage to you, remove a point counter. Okay. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to an opponent, put a point counter on it. Then, if it has ten or more point counters on it, remove them all and that player loses the game. Oh. Oh! Okay. Now now that makes sense. Okay. Now, now, I, now I see where, where that's going. Okay. Ooh. Anything with proliferate would help with that. Uh, and then we got Thrill of Possibility. I have this from other sets, but I like this art. And it gives red draw power. Red needs draw power so bad. Uh, Serpentine Curve. And a foil one of that. I like that one. All right. Next. Another dummy card. Prismari Pledge Mage. Silver Cool Campus. See, we've seen a lot of these already. But that's okay. Another Pigment Storm. But see, ooh, Pigment Storm is one that would be dropped by those. Because if you have three, it's only a two drop. So that's actually not bad. Another Tangle Trap. Spectre of the Fens. Fractal Summoning. Ooh, Zephyr Boots. This is new. Uh, has Flying. Whenever a equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card, then discard a card. Okay. Uh, emergent Sequence. Basic land. Comes in tap, then shuffle. That land becomes a fractal creature, and it's still a land. Put a 1-1 counter on it for each land you had enter the battlefield under your control this turn. And that could be a lot in, a, in the right kind of deck. So that's actually not a bad card. Lorehold Apprentice. Uh, spirit creatures you control gain tap. This creature deals one damage to each opponent whenever you cast. Oh, whenever that's that's really good. Put 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 uh, spirits all over the place, then you're good. Uh, Radiant Scroll Wielder. Instant and sorcery spells you control have life link. Oh man. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile an instant or sorcery card at random from your graveyard. You may cast it this turn. If it would be uh, put in the graveyard, exile instead. Nice. Very nice. And then cultivate. Another cultivate. So that's two. Now, see, even cult see, even this would help out with that one. Um, the um, uh, emergent sequence. Because you play one, cultivate plays one, then that plays one. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Right there. So yeah, we're we're getting some amazing cards from these. All right, and then we've got the draft art types again, and it's a pest on the other side of it this time. Uh, Letter of acceptance, Plasmari Pledge Mage, the Elemental Masterpiece. See, four of those would make this a three drop. That would be fantastic. Pigment Storm, Tangle Trap, Specter Fens, Stone Rise Spirit. Have I seen this one? Yep, exile a card from graveyard and something gets flying. Yep. Frost Trickster. I think I've got like two or three of these now. I want to get a full playset. And I have plenty of chances to get that playset. Another Fuming Effigy. Elemental Summoning. Plump the Forbidden. As an additional cost to cast a spell, you may sacrifice one or more creatures. When you do, copy the spell for each creature sacrificed this way. All right. Uh, you draw a card, lose one life. Um, actually, if you're doing that with pests, you're kind of net neutral on that because you're only going to lose one life whenever you play this card. So let's say, let's say you have four pests. You sack four pests. You copy it four times. You're only losing. So for five copies, you're only losing one life. Combine this with the other stuff whenever you gain life, because pests make you gain life. Um, you know, whenever you draw a card, like any kinds of effects like that. So this is actually a very powerful card. I like that. And it's got some nice combos there. All right. Uh, Killian Ink Duelist. Lifelink Menace. Spells you cost that cast a creature, that target a creature costs two less to cast. Oh, very nice. 
Damagoth Woe Eater. Uh, sack a creature at the beginning of your upkeep. When you sacrifice this card, each opponent discards a card, you draw a card, and you gain two life. Nice. Very nice. I could... Mm, yeah, I like that, actually. Oh, yeah, force me to sack a creature. Oh, yeah, I could sack pests if I want to. Oh, yeah, I'm going to sacrifice him, and then things are gonna, good things are happening. Devastating Mastery. Destroy all non-land permanents. Or, for less, your opponent gets two back to their hand, and then all non-land permanents go bye-bye. Go not bad. Whirlwind Denial. For each spell and ability your opponents control, counter it unless its controller pays four. Huh. I'd have to look up the rulings on this card to really see what's up, but worst case scenario, I don't know. I could I could just see it using you know. I could see that being useful. For for example, let's say they have four cards that whenever you gain life, it gets a one one counter or something. Oh yeah, I'm gonna counter it unless you pay four. That's four abilities that are now going to get countered unless they pay four mana each time. If I'm understanding it correctly. So that's actually really powerful. I like that. I'd have to look up how that works. This, like, you know, the, the official rulings on it. Um, just to, to know how to best utilize it in any deck I'd want to put it in. But it's still it's still nice. Like, that's, that's still overall a, a really nice card. Oh, and if I'm making commentary about any of these and I'm wrong on how they're supposed to be used and I don't catch it or I just don't know, because let's face it, as long as I've been playing Magic, there's plenty of things I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Don't be afraid to say, hey, man, you're wrong. Look this up, you know, and we'll go from there. Another elemental token. All right, Spiteful Squad. Another Silver Quill Pledge Mage. Needlethorn Drake. Expel. Nice. Another Befuddler. Another Warden. Another Charge Through. I think I have got my full place out of those now. Arrogant Poet. Attacks pay to life if you do it gains life. Uh, flying. Yeah, I've seen that. Another Inkling Summoning. Snow Day. Ooh, Snow Day. Tap two target creatures. They don't untap during the next untap step. Draw two cards and discard a card. That's, I like that. I like that one a lot, actually. Karak Wrangler. Whenever you cast a co cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature you control. Nice. Oh, that, that would go well with that other black card, where it was sacrificing the pest. I was talking about sacrificing pests to copy it. That's five 1-1 one -one counters on him. <laughs> or, well, five 1-1 one -one counters are going to be put on whatever. All right, start from scratch. Uh, deals one damage to any target or destroy target artifact. Not bad, actually. Wandering Archaic on one side or explore the vast lands on the other. So, Wandering Archaic. Just, I'm, I'm sorry, just the, the, the look of this card reminds me of the old Eldrazi cards. Anywho, uh, whenever an opponent casts an instant or sorcery spell, pay two. Um, are yeah, when they do it, they may pay two. If they don't, you may copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. That's really good. It's like, oh, yeah, um, I'm just going to copy your spell unless you pay two. And if it's a powerful spell, it can backfire on them, so that's fantastic. Or explore the vast lands. Each player looks at the top five cards of their library, reveals a land card, or and or an instant or sorcery from among them. Then puts the cards they revealed this way into their hand and the rest on the bottom in any or in a random order. Each player gains three life. So you could do a land and an instant or sorcery, if I'm reading if if I'm understanding this correctly. Which is really good actually. I'm so partial to dropping that on the field though. Using your opponent's deck against them. Ooh, dark red. That's nice. 
Dark Ritual is nice. And then Academic Dispute and Foil. Target creature blocks this turn if able. You may have it gain reach until end of turn. And then learn. Nice. Now, why would I make my opponent's creature... Oh, wait, no, because if I've got something big that flies, I absolutely want them to be able to die from it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just going to force you to block this creature with that creature and, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, your fancy thing that you never used, you just keep it on the field for its effect. Yeah, it's going to die this turn. Oh, look, Fractal. Another Excavated Wall. Nice Exodus. Exhilarating Elocution. Uh, Stone Rice Spirit. Frost Trickster. Now I'm almost positive I have a full play set of those. Fuming Effigy. Another one of these guys. Yeah, at this point I'm seeing a lot of cards I've already found. Pass Summoning. Explosive Welcome. Oh, I don't think I've seen Explosive Welcome yet. What the Spectacle Mage is. Uh, 5 damage to any target and 3 damage to any other target. And add 3 mana. So 8 damage for basically for 4 mana. And that would get 2 creatures off the field. And with the Spectacle Mages, it lowers the cost. So, I mean, yeah, that's 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 really useful. I like that one a lot, actually. Expressive Iteration. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand. One to the bottom of your library and exile one of them. You can play the exiled card this turn. Very nice. Mercurial Transformation. Until end of turn, target non-land permanent loses all abilities and becomes a f your choice of a blue frog with 1-1, one, one, or a blue octopus with 4-4. Four, four. Nah, they become a frog. <laughs> Ooh, exponential growth. Until end of turn, double target creature's power X times. Imagine if you made X 3. Yes, that's going to be an expensive card. That's going to be 8 mana. In a mana ramp deck, that's fine. But four, but let's say it's you put on a 4. So 4 is going to become 8, then 16, then 32. Now let's say it has Trample. Chances are someone's going to have a very bad day. Uh, ooh, Eliminate. Destroy target creature or planeswalker with mana value 3 or less. Nice. So, getting some very nice cards here. Loving it. So, let's see what we got with this one. Because we're really getting some good cards here. <laughs> Nope, another one of these dummy cards. Okay. Biblioplex Assistant. Uh, Instant Sorcery on top. Yep, we've seen that one before. Ooh, make your mark. That's a new one. Creature gets 1-0 until end of turn. When it dies, um, create a, a spirit token. That could, in theory, be very useful. Stonebound Mentor. Whenever one or more cards leave your graveyard, scry one. Arrogant Poet, we've seen him. We've seen Depend the Campus, and Reject, and Twin Scroll Shaman, and The Colony. Lash of Malice, Inkling Summoning. I don't think we've seen this one before. Uh, for two, return the Ar Mercurial Artist to its owner's hand. And copy instant or sorcery you control. Choose new targets. Very useful, actually. I like that. Bookworm. It's an it's a seven seven with trample for eight. When it enters the battlefield, gain three life and draw a card. And then for three mana, put him from the graveyard to the, in back into your library, third from the top. I need to find a full play set of those. That's gonna go in my green deck. <laughs> uh, Thunderous Orator. Uh, whenever it attacks, it ha gains flying till end of turn. If you control an art, a creature of flying. The same is true for first strike, double strike, death touch, indestructible, lifelink, menace, and trample. That is absolutely horrifying. Like, like, look at that. That that that's horrifying. That oh man. Ooh, order. So this is a double sided one. So first up, we've got. Uh, Jadzi, Oracle of 
Arcavios. I, I don't know how to pronounce the cards. I'm sorry. I'm terrible at, at that kind of thing. Um, discard a card, return it to its owner's hand. Or uh, Magecraft, whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a non-land card, you may cast it by paying one rather than its mana cost. If it's a land card, put it onto the battlefield. The other side is Journey to the Oracle. You may put any number of land cards from your hand onto the battlefield. Then, if you control eight or more lands, you may discard a card. If you do, return Journey to the Oracle to its owner's hand. Dang. Because, I mean, either way, I mean, this card just plays into itself. Because think about it. Let's say you have a bunch of land cards in your hand from all the lands you've been drawing. Forcing yourself to draw, <laughs> rather. Drop it down. Plop down all your lands. And then if you have eight or more lands, you just get it back, and then you can play this guy. <laughs> like, that's, that's seriously insane. I mean, you can even discard to mount it, and then just, oh, hey, guess what? You know... I've drawn so much land, I want to just drop it all. Bam! And then just bring him back out. Bam! Like, that's so good. Adventurous Impulse. Look at the top three cards of your library. Oh, wait, no. I think... Oh, wait. Or, creature or land from among them, put in your hand, rest in the bottom. I think we may have seen that one before, but I'm not 100% on that. Oh, man. Just getting so... So many. So many great cards here. Another pest. And we have another Archway Commons. Needlethorn Drake. Lorehold Pledge Mage. Serpentine Curve. Ooh, first day of class. Enters the battlefield. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control this turn, put a 1 1 counter on it and it gains haste anywhere. I'd have to check to see if this would work for every creature or just the next creature but i think it's like the whole turn like any creature so i think that's i think that's a really good really good card but even if it is just the next one it can be very powerful depending on how you play so professor of zoomancy uh get a pest unwilling ingredient menace exile you draw a card lose one life Honestly, though, just the fact that it has Menace is really good in my eyes because Menace is good. And there's so many ways to pump. Like, in this set alone, there's so many different ways to pump things. This is a that's a nice little card. Guiding Voice. See, see that's what I mean. 1-1 one, one counter. Just put, put a counter on it. Put a counter on it. Done. <laughs> Waterfall Aerialist. Uh, Ward 2. Yep. Seen it. Uh, reduce to memory. Exile and target non-land permanent. This controller gets a red and white spirit creature token. Okay. Honor troll. Yep, we've seen that one. Still really good. Zimone, Quandrix Prodigy. Put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. Draw a card. If you control eight or more lands, draw two cards instead. Very nice. Gnarled Professor. Enters the battlefield, learn, and it has trample. Nice. Ooh. Look at that. Just just look at that. That's a very nice counter spell. <laughs> well, I still have packs. So I still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 packs to go. That's still 13 chances I have to find at least one of my fancy lightning bolts. <laughs> and that's the only one I want. From these fancy cards at this point. I want the, I want the lightning bolt. I need the lightning bolt in my life. <laughs> no, don't get me wrong. Like the counter spell is nice. Like some of the cards I've seen are very nice. I would mine a couple more cultivates. Um and just generally speaking, more of the cards that came in it. So we'll see what happens. Okay, square up. Base power and toughness of four four till end of turn. And it's only two? Oh man, that's that's something you could play second turn and just stomp their face in it. Like stop your enemy's face in, that's great. Prismari Campus, Quandrix Pledge Mage, Make Your Mark, Make Your First Year, Soothsayer Adept, Lustrous Historian, Field Trip. Yeah, we've already seen a lot of these. Um, I'm not sure if we've seen Hunt for Specimens, but you get a pest and you learn for two. Uh, pest Summoning. Solve the Equation. 
Search your library for an instant or sorcery, reveal it, put it to your hand, then shuffle. Okay. Returned past caller. Yeah, I don't think we've seen this one yet either. Return to, when it enters the battlefield, return target spirit, instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. That's nice. Master Symmetrous. Yep, we've seen that. Gains trample if its power and toughness are equal. Blade Historian. Cra oh! That, that is good. Attacking creatures you control have double strike. That is fantastic. Agonizing Remorse. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from, from it or, or a card from their graveyard. Exile that card and you lose a life. Okay. But that one, though, just, just, just that guy right there, that Blade Historian, so good. Another pest. Ooh, another square up. Blood Researcher, Campus Guide. Have we seen Campus Guide? Yeah, we've seen it. Tome Shredder, Bayou Groff. Mm -hmm. Professor's Warning, yep. Com combat Professor. At the beginning of combat on your turn, target creature you control gets 1 0 and vigilance till end of turn. Nice. Arcane Subtraction, we've seen that. Environmental Sciences. Tenured Ink Caster. Enters the battlefield, 1 1 counter on target creature. Uh, whenever a, a creature you control with a 1 1 counter on it attacks, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Dang! Prismari Apprentice. Uh, when you cast your copy, it can't be blocked. Spell had mana 5 or greater, gets a 1-1 counter. Dang, that's good. Containment Breach. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. This mana is 2 or less, create a pest. Okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, Dean of the Vein or Dean of the Root. Menace Lifelink. If a non-token creature with an opponent controls would die, exile it instead. When you do... You may pay two. If you do, you get a pest. Or, whenever you gain life, you may pay one. If you do, one one counter on each creature you control, and those creatures can't trample until end of turn. That is horrifyingly good. That's going in the in the in the green deck. Mm -hmm. Uh, Electrolyze deals two damage as you uh, divide it as you choose among one or two targets. Draw a card. Rushed Rebirth. Choose target creature. When that creature dies, search your library with, for a creature with lesser mana value. Put onto the battlefield. Tap then shuffle. That's really good. Hmm? Double sided. All right. Stonebound Mentor. Biblioplex Assistant. Relic Sloth. Soothsayer Adept. Yep. 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 We've already seen so many of these. Clever Luminancer. Yeah, we saw this before because we saw it foil before. Yeah, so that one, because that one's really good. Practical Research. Ooh, Practical Research. Draw four cards, then discard two. Oh, yeah, I saw this one. We've seen this one before. Kelpie Guide. Tap it to untap another target permanent you control, or tap to, for tap target permanent, activate only if you control eight or more lands. That can be very useful. Baleful Mastery. You may sp So it's a four drop, three and a black. You may play one in a black rather than its cost. If the cheap cost is paid and an opponent draws a card, exile target creature or planeswalker. Yeah, that, that's not bad. Revitalize. Gain three life, draw a card. All right. So, almost almost done here, guys. Back to the, the draft stuff. <laughs> and, oh! So, apparently, there is, in fact, Planeswalkers, because this is a Planeswalker emblem. And it's for Rowan, Scholar of Sparks. Whenever an instant, you cast an instant or sorcery spell, pay two. If you do copy that spell, you may choose two new targets for the copy. I wonder if I'm going to get her. We'll see. Uh, Biomathematician. Enters the battlefield, you get a fractal. 
And then you put one a one one counter on each fractal again. So that's great. Campus guide, cram session, gain four life and learn. Mage duel. We've uh, seen that before. Each player loses two life. You draw two cards. Crushing disappointment. I mean, small price to pay. Angel's guardian, resculpt, heated debate, big play, environmental scientist or sciences. Okay, not scientist. Wither Bloom Apprentice. Each opponent loses one life, you gain one life. So that plays into so many of the different life gain effects. Ingenious at, uh, Inspiration. Deals three damage to any target. Learn. Deadly Brew. Uh, sac each player sacks a creature plan draw. If you sacrifice a permanent this way, you may return another permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. All right. Conspiracy Theorist. Whenever he attacks, pay one and discard a card if you do draw a card. Whenever you discard one or more non-land cards, if you exile one of them from your graveyard, you may exile one of them from your graveyard. If you do, you may cast it this turn. Huh. Not bad. Oh yeah, I'm just going to discard this card and then I'm going to play it later. <laughs> Compulsive Research. Target player draws three cards, and then that player discards two cards unless they discard a land. Not bad. All right. So no no uh, scholar of sparks unfortunately, <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Another double sided card. Archway Commons, Needlethorn Drake, Lorehold Pledge Mage. Ooh, study break. Haven't seen this one yet. Tap two target creatures and then learn. Nice. Reject. Enthusiastic study. Target creature gets three one and gains trample till end of turn and you get to learn. Nice. Field trip. Unwilling ingredient again. Arcane subtraction. Spirit Summoning, Mercurial, oh uh, yeah, we've seen this one already, uh, Thunderous Orator, oh yeah, we saw that one before, Reconstruct History, return up to one target artifact card, up to one target enchantment card, one target instant card, sorcery, and player, and planeswalker from your graveyard to your hand, so you get an artifact, enchantment, instant, sorcery, and Planeswalker from your graveyard back to your hand. The only thing you don't get is a creature. And then this is Exile. That is very powerful. I can see why they said, oh, you gotta exile it. All right. Dean of Perfection, Dean of Expression. Exile an instant or sorcery card from your hand and put three home counters on it. It gains at the beginning of your upkeep. If it's exiled, remove a home counter from it. And when its last home counter is removed this way, Remove from the card. If it's exiled, it cast it. It costs four or less to cast this way. Dang. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile one or the top card of each opponent's library. Until the end of turn, you may cast spells from among those exiled cards. And you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast those spells. Whenever you cast a spell from exile, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. They're both so good. It's like, which one do you go with? And then the last one is Eliminate. We've already seen that one. Alright. Another pack. Another pest. Mm-hmm. Drake, Commons, Seer, uh, Burian Books, Tome Shredder, Reckless Amplomancer, Mage Hunter's Onslaught. I believe we've seen that one. Yeah, whenever a creature blocks, its control loses one life. Yeah, we've seen that. Serpentine Curse. Wait, is that so? Mage Hunter? No, no. Okay, so it was a it was a sorcery, not an instant. Okay, Serpentine Curse. Illuminate History. I don't think we've seen this one yet. Discard any number of cards. Then draw that many cards. There are seven or more cards in your graveyard. Create a token. A spirit token. Okay. Reduce to memory. Exile target non-land permanent. Its controller creates a, a uh, spirit token. Pass caller we've seen. Solve the equation. Search your library for an instant or sorcery card. Reveal it. Put it into your hand, then shuffle. Okay. Culling ri ritual. 
Destroy each non-land permanent with mana value two or less. Add white, uh, black or green for each permanent destroyed this way. Okay. Hey, and I got a lightning helix. Very nice. So there's the lightning helix. Let's see if I can find the lightning bolt in these in this last, you know, seven packs. <laughs> It has a very pretty lightning helix, though. Another spirit. Okay. Square up. Prismari Campus. Quandrix Pledge Mage. Star People. Serpentine Curve. Lustrous Historian. Leyline Evocation. Lash of Malice. Introduction to Annihilation. Show of Confidence. I don't think I've seen this one yet. So, when you cast this spell, copy it for each other instant and sorcery you cast this turn. Choose new targets for the copies. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature. It gains vigilance till end of turn. Very good. Very good. Tenured Incaster. Prismari Apprentice. Sparring Regimen. Enters the battlefield. Learn. Whenever you attack, put a 1-1 one -one counter on target tapping, attacking creature and untap it. Very nice. Another Whirlwind Denial. And Humiliate. Target opponent reveals her hand. Choose a non-land card from it. That player discards a card. Discards that card. Put a 1-1 counter on, cre on target creature you control. So, very nice. Humiliate is... I don't think I've seen Humiliate yet, but that is very good. A bit overpowered, too, if you ask me. Two mana. And then another one of those, you know, this dummy filler cards. Mm -hmm. Clockwork Archivist. Silver Quilt Pledge Mage, Spectacle Mage. Yeah, I've got a full play set of those now, hands down. Blood Age General. Attack this. That, that is good in a lot when you have a lot of spirits. Bear Druid. <laughs> Get a pest. Professor's Warning. Pillar Drop Rescuer. Curate. Another Dragon's Approach. Expanded Anatomy. Um, yep, seen her. Definitely seen that one. Aether Helix. Nice. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Very nice. Silver Core Silencer. And then claim the Firstborn. Alright. Five left. Let's see what we get. Another pest. <laughs> And so many past tokens. Uh, make your mark. Stonebound mentor. Who, yep, we've seen that one. Biblioplex assistant. Lister's historian. Yep, we've seen so many of these already, unfortunately, but that is okay. Containment breach. We've seen that. Destroy target man artifact or enchantment. If it's two or less, get a pest. Okay. Academic dispute. Nope, we've seen that one. Maelstrom muse. I have not seen you. Whenever he attacks, the next instant or sorcery spell you cast this turn costs X less to cast, where X is Muse's power as this ability resolves. Okay. I have not seen that yet, but that's very good. Ooh, look at you. Vexing Pest or Search for Blacks. Oh, boy. So, other pests, bats, insects, snakes, and spiders you control get plus one, plus one. When Vexing Pest dies, gain for life. That's horrible. That is absolutely horrible. Look at the top five cards of your library. You put any number of them into your hand and the rest onto the into the graveyard. You lose three life for each card put in put to your hand this way. That's that's just that's that's terrible. Oh yeah, all these pests that I have, yeah, they get one one. Alright, then a negate and a foil burying books. Alright. Luca, Wayward Bonder. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. Dang, that's a good planeswalker. Okay, Quandrix Campus. Square up. Stonebound Mentor. Study break. Reject. Enthusiastic study. Field trip. Unwilling ingredient. 
Guiding Voice. Fractal Summoning. Kelpie Guide. Flunk. Flunk! I haven't seen Flunk yet. Target creature gets negative X, negative X till end of turn, where X is 7 minus the number of cards in that creature's, control creature's controller's hand. Oh man, <laughs> that's good. Humiliate. Rushed Rebirth. When that creature dies, search your library for a creature card with lesser mana value. Put it on the battlefield tab and shuffle. Okay. Um, Ephemerate, I think? Exile target creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. Uh, rebound. As you cast a spell from your hand, exile as a result. At the beginning of your next upkeep, you may pay this card from exile without casting or without paying its mana cost. That's really good. I like that. And that can be used to get rid of things like, oh yeah, I, uh, uh, you know, like the, like anything that, you know, causes, like, oh you know, yeah, you, your creature has to be tapped now. Oh, well, it leaves the battlefield, that enchantment's gone, then it comes right back. So, another double sided card. Relic Sloth. Eureka Moment. Have we seen our Eureka Moment? Yeah, we have. Okay. Lore Hole Campus, Mage Duel, Crushing Disappointment, Aegis Guardian. Resculpt. Heated debate. Big play. Ooh. Teachings of the Archaics. If an opponent has more cards in hand than you, draw two cards. Draw three cards instead if an opponent has at least four more cards in hand than you. Nice. Ooh, another Buckworm. Um, uh, that's two of them. Test of Talents. Counter target instant or sorcery spell. Search its controller's graveyard hand and library for any number, any number of cards with the same name as that spell and exile them. That player shuffles, then draws a card for each card exiled from their hand this way. Very nice. Mortality Spear. Two less to cast if you gain life this turn. Destroy target non-land permanent. Nice. Like, some of these cards are really nice, and they're uncommons, but I haven't gotten a single one of them yet. I only have two packs left. Uh, dramatic Finale. Creature tokens you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever one or more non-token creatures you control die, create a 2-1 white and, white and black inkling. Only once each turn. Dang. And then another Adventurous Impulse. Two chances to get my Lightning Bolt. We'll see what happens. Elemental. Friday Night Magic. I should probably fig actually look into that because some of the Friday Night Magics, um, some like sometimes you'll find like those special tournaments and stuff, and those special tournaments will be like, um, they'll have like different promos and stuff. So always worth looking into. Uh, Relic Sloth, infused with vitality. Seen that Prismari Campus, reject Twin Skull Shaman, Scurred Colony, Lash of Malice, Eager First Year, Elemental Summoning. Reconstruct history. Academic academic dispute. Yep, I've seen that one. The field historian. Yep, seen you. Ooh, accomplished alchemist. One mana of any color. Add X mana of any color, where X is the amount of life you gained this turn. Oh, oh that's good. Infuriate. Target creature gets 3-2 till end of turn, and it's only one red. Very nice. Stone Rise Spirit. And this one's a foil, so not bad. All right. Last pack. Let's let's see what happens, shall we? Another elemental. All right, make your mark. Prismari Campus, Quandrix Pledge Mage, Enthusiastic Study, Field Trip, Unwilling Ingredient, Guiding Voice, Arcane Subtraction, Blood Age General, Elemental Summoning, Grinning Ignis. Return to its owner's hand, add a red and two colorless, activate only as a sorcery. So basically, you sacrifice a red to get back its, its casting cost. Access Tunnel. Actually, I don't think I've seen Access Tunnel yet. So it's a, a colorless, or for three, tap it. Target creature, power three or less, can't be blocked this turn. That's, that's really good. 
Silver Quill Apprentice. Pretty sure we've seen that, but you know, caster copy one until end of turn. Elite Spellbinder. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, look at opponent's hand. You may exile a non-land card from it. For as long as that card remains exiled, its owner may play it. A spell cast this way costs two more to cast. All right. And then strategic planning. Three, three cards on the top of your library. One of them into your hand, the rest into your graveyard. All right. So when I did decide, I'm not going to go through and see what all these are worth because that kind of takes the fun out of it. But if anyone does want to know, please feel free to look up any cards that you want. Um, I personally like using TCG Player for all my lookup stuff. I need to get all the names, so go ahead and do it. If you want to leave that down in the comments, by all means. But I've got, even though I didn't get my Lightning Bolt, unfortunate, I know. I got a lot of great cards, a lot of great cards that are going to go on some decks. So, at least that, that succeeded there. So, with that, this video is over. Um, anyone has any ideas for these cards and different combos I may not have come up with or any ways to use these cards that I may have misunderstood or not thought of, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Um, and, and yeah, so gonna, gonna have some fun with building some deck decks now and rebuilding some decks and that's going to be fun. Keep an eye out for any other any of my other videos um i know i've got i recently got more pokemon stuff so i'm gonna have some more pokemon videos for you guys soon and soon i'm gonna have my uh my i'm gonna be doing my uh, kamigawa packs i just wanted to get this one out of the way first because it was an older set um and one that I was really hoping to find some some cards but hey it's all good either way we had fun and i'm gonna have fun in my local tournaments um with that being said thank you all for watching we'll see you next time and please don't forget to like and subscribe to see any other videos, guys.